Today we're talking about confronting the past and yeah. the present. It's starting to rain. Bit of a little bit Jason. of a. Jason! Hey, Jason Hollis, everybody! Hey, da -da. Jason Hollis, everybody! Sir Hey guys, just getting out of the truck here and uh Oh, are you in the you were in the bed of the wow, truck the whole time? Let me right up front with you, Neil. When you stop shedding. How about that? <laughs> Go. Like a snake or like a puppy? <laughs> like a puppy. Do you ever feel like you have something wrong like with your soul? I had it with both of my basketball shoes. The soles of my shoes. Is it the shoes? No, mom. Like it, it started like crunching. You know, it crunches up, and then it's like this is just a soggy rag in the bottom of my. Oh, get out of here! Oh, I gotta get new soles, man. Speaking of basketball, you ready? Watch this, Kobe. Has to put it up with the buzzer. A lot of people thought it couldn't be done. It can't. Kobe, not done. To Kobe Bryant. My phone. You dropped your phone. I dropped my phone. <laughs> I'm so sorry you didn't see that. That was embarrassing. Those are clean. Got an Uncle Jeff who's kind of creepy at Thanksgiving. We got the shoe for him. <laughs> These are the ultimate dad shoes. Those are dad shoes. It's the only pair of shoe Uncle Lance has ever worn. Dad bod, right there. <gasps> I found the soles. I found them. Let's <laughs> see. Two hours later. Hey, this is uh, this this video is not sponsored by Academy Sports. It can be though, for Unless. a small prize of four million dollars a month, a piece. Last episode, we talked a little bit about our past. We did talk about that. We did in the past. Yep. When when our past rears its ugly head, and man, is it ugly. Uh, there are three different ways that we typically respond. First way, we try to bury it. There's a lot of things we tend to think about our past. That, this is not true. We try to bury it under there. It's like, oh, we'll just hide over here. Time heals all wounds. That's not true. None of that's, that's true. That's not true. No. Only the Holy Spirit can heal that. Hiding doesn't work, bro. It does you not You ever work. tried to hide an Easter egg? It gets found. One time, we found an Easter egg a year after Easter at the next Easter. My son was like, this is a weird egg. It was from a year before. We had never found it. Proverbs 28, 13 says, whoever conceals their sins does not prosper. No. Nope. But the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Man. Can't, can't hide it. I want to find mercy. I don't want I don't want the other one. I want option B. The latter, if you will. I like that. Second way, that's fourth way. Second way, we beat ourselves up. A lot of us live in the land of regret. Oh. No, and I'll tell you this, the it's, real estate is costly. It's chilly. Dwelling on if only scenarios doesn't work. Enemy will use the fact that we can't change our past and he'll torment us with it. This scripture that we're gonna read in a minute is gonna show you this, but King David, he's a guy in the Old Testament. Yeah, he's a king. He knows exactly what this felt like. Now, this guy committed adultery. It was with one of his own soldier's wives. Ooh, but he didn't go, he didn't do anything worse than that, did he? He did. See, oh, this, uh, David, <laughs> David went and had that, so it's a diesel engine. Yeah. That thing gotta hear me? Yeah. David had that soldier killed, who was that lady's husband, a prophet named Nathan, called him out on it. He confronted yeah. David and David repents. He cries out to God and this is what he says. This is in Psalm chapter 38. My guilt overwhelms me. It's a burden that's too heavy to bear. And the next verse says, all day long I walk around filled with grief. Like that doesn't sound... He's that doesn't sound pleasant. I don't like walking around being filled with ground beef, much less ground grief. <laughs> You're gonna point to the tenth power for that one. That's, That's good. still just one point. He, he goes on. Still it's still point. just one, but you know. Uh, he goes on. He says, "A raging fever burns within me. My health is broken. I'm exhausted and completely crushed." Yeah, it seems dramatic, but that somehow, it's like the way we feel sometimes. Yeah. Now, forgiving ourselves is so important. Yes. This is huge. Yes. Number three, we blame other people. I know none of us would ever do that. Oh, no, nope. no, it's never their fault. We'll remember them. Adam and Eve? Y'all remember them? You remember their story? The first thing they did was they blamed each other. God's like, Adam, what's up? Adam's like, oh, Eve did it. Eve did it. Yeah. Whenever we repent and take responsibility yeah. for what we've done, yeah. that's when we can move forward. We can finally move on from it. We yep. can get the heck Neil out of it. Neil moved on. Neil gone. Oh, he's we back. Get, we get stuck. I'm back. We've got to be able to forgive ourselves. Yep. That is huge. Got to. And we've also got to be able to forgive other people. But forgiving ourselves sometimes is the first step into forgiving somebody else. So we want to pray for you guys. God, please forgive us for our sins. 
we repent and turn away from the things that we've done that are wrong and we turn and face you. Please help us to live today in a way that would make you proud. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, this is church in real time. Church get, in real time. You want to get, get in your seat in the back. Oh. <laughs> There's no bed liner in that. We made it, guys. You never know. Kobe. <laughs> I think you missed. Oh, yeah? Follow up. You got a rebound. You got a rebound and my own assist. So wow. Great. What? Shoes, 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 shoes. You sure it's not the shoes? I'm sure, Mars.